All right, man, we back. Marcy Sports Talk. We in the building. Appreciate the love and support. And um, let's talk about Justin Fields' draft spotlight. Let's kind of speed up the draft spotlights and the free agent spotlights. Check out the draft spotlight playlist. And um, Justin Fields is very intriguing, okay? Seeing as like QB3 in the draft, and I don't think it's close between him and Lance and him and Ellinger, him and Trask and him and Mile. It just ain't close, all right? And... With him, he ran a 4 4 one as pro day. And probably laser, you're probably going to say that's probably like a 4 4 5, 4 4 8. But still, amazing speed. I think he got solid mechanics. But, you know, the problem with him is Ohio State just don't have a pro offense. There are some things that, some reads that he can't make or he hasn't been taught to make, you know. And it becomes some times where his ball placement gets him out of, out of, out of, out of trouble as far as reading coverages. His accuracy and his ball placement is good as you probably gonna see in this draft when, you know, when he on. But guess what? He wouldn't have he wouldn't have so many bad throws or interceptions if he knew how to read defenses, if he knew how to read coverage. You know, and a lot of times when he beat coverage, either he beating it with extreme ball placement accuracy, or he beating it with pure talent, you know, or it's, it's lucky. You know, and it's it was a play in the national championship game where he threw the he threw to the tight end, and the, the the ball was so the velocity and the accuracy and how tight the ball was spinning, it was just great ball placement. But he had somebody open underneath. So when you talking about Justin Fields, footwork look okay. Probably leave, need, need a little bit of improvement. Arm is really really good. You know, accuracy is good. It's just that you know his accuracy gets a little bit problematic. Because he got to be perfect on every throw because he don't know how to read coverages. And then, you know, a lot of times in Ohio State playing the Big Ten, they playing with receivers wide open. So, you know, he ain't missing no wide open receiver a lot of the times. He hitting them dudes in strides. He throwing the corner the right way. You know, he he giving his guys a chance, you know, with Justin Fields. He giving them a chance. But if he knew how to read coverage, and I think it's more of an Ohio State thing than it is a Justin Fields thing, if he knew how to read coverage, he would be by far the number one quarterback in his draft. You know, because Trevor Lawrence ain't perfect neither. We won't talk about him because we know he ain't gonna, we gonna have, we not gonna have a chance in him. But Trevor Lawrence don't completely know how to read defenses neither. You know, so you know Justin Fields. You know he he probably gonna benefit from sitting behind, um, maybe a Darnold for a year or sitting behind a Jared Goff for a couple of years. He's gonna benefit from that because somebody is ever gonna be like, okay, t- tighten up your mechanics a little bit. But that's not the problem. He getting by on raw talent and raw accuracy. Once he learned how to go through the coverages, he said he said a year like with Patrick Mahomes, you could have the next Patrick Mahomes because he's more athletic. His arm may not be as, as good, but you know what? His ball placement is crazy. So, you know, I, I think it's a chance where you're talking about who ready to go right now. You probably go with Lawrence and, and Wilson, but you're talking about just the talent, the athleticism, the arm. The accuracy, if you let Justin Fields, and maybe Wilson got a city year. But I think Wilson is is probably, in long term, a more talented quarterback. You know, I think, excuse me, Fields is a more talented quarterback long term. You know, when you're talking about the arm is just as good, the ball placement is, is probably a better, just as good as Wilson. What separate them separate them is maybe competition and it may be competition that separates them because really we don't know how Wilson going to do in the NFL. The competition is what separate them. And really it's a sweep. It's an apple or pears thing. You like apples, you like pears, you know, you like granny Smith's, you like Indian apples. I mean, it depends on what you like, but when you're talking about probably ready to go right now, probably Wilson. Cause he know how to recover just a little bit better. But overall, arm, accuracy, athleticism, Justin Fields beat them everywhere instead of co- reading coverage, and that's and that's because of Ohio State. That's because of Ohio State. But, you know, it's no drop-off from, you know, Wilson to, to Fields long-term, none. Maybe even short-term, none. I think the Lions got an opportunity to get him. You take him. You develop him. He's the perfect guy because he further along the Lance. Lance is complete garbage. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Check out the draft spotlight playlist. Don't forget, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out anytime. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, all my social media links, description. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJ Good313. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share the video. Let me know what you need in the comment section. One time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk.